welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. The search for suitable aircraft to be deployed on INS Vikrant, India's indigenous aircraft carrier, began in earnest last year. The naval variant of the French company, Dassault's Rafale fighter jet, the Rafale Marine, as well as Boeing's FA-18 Super Hornet, have emerged as the top two contenders over the previous few years. India looked at both in depth. The main issue is determining the criteria for equipping the Indian Defence Squad with the appropriate fighter jet. As the F-18 aircraft will be extended if India places a new order or if Boeing closes the F-18 production facility, it will continue to maintain the present fleet. Another Rafale 18 is on the current list, however it is a single-seat marine fighter jet. Rafale M and Super Hornet both have their advantages due to similar standardization, but where can India obtain a better deal? The Indian Navy was delighted by the Rafale M's flawless maneuverability. The FA-18's potential for Indian aircraft carriers was similarly shown by Boeing in the US in late 2020. Finally, in 2022, at the Indian Naval Station Hansa in Goa, where INS Vikrant's flight deck was modeled, the two competing multi-role carrier-borne fighters were requested for operational demonstration tests. The first to enter service was the Rafale M in February 2022 and Super Hornet in July. A fighter plane with a similar configuration, the Rafale Marine is designed for the Navy. The aircraft is offered in single and dual seat configurations, has a delta wing shape, and can resist 11 grams. It is 15.27 meters in length and 10.80 meters in width. In addition to the Meteor for battle, beyond visual range, the aircraft is also capable of carrying air-to-air -air MBDA MICA missiles. In comparison to the Rafale, the FA-18 has a 20% larger airframe, 41% longer range, and better General Electric F-414 engines. That produce 35% more thrust. It was created by American Aerospace and defense company Boeing. Similar to the Rafale, it travels at a speed of 1.8 Mach. The Super Hornet is equipped with AIM-120 Amram Beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles. Government will make the decision in this case. We have accepted both. The Ministry of Defense will now make the decision. Both aircraft are in good shape. They have established their worth. However, there will now be additional problems. For instance, the Air Force already has Rafales. The Navy chief said, now there will be commonality for spare parts and support. The Navy currently operates a Russian MiG-29K for INS Vikrant. But it wants to go for a completely indigenous fighter jet in the future, an imported Rafale M or Super Hornet. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about Rafale and Super Hornet jets in the comments section.